think I, it's a list that I wanted to do a quick video to show you something very exciting that I found at um, CVS. There is a collection out right now by, by the um, Wet n Wild uh, Cosmetics Company that is a nail polish collection. And if you look very closely, you'll notice that the logo on it looks very familiar. And that is because it is a magnifying glass from Saved by the Bell. To be honest with you, I thought um, that Saved by the Bell is kind of irrelevant now. I still watch it on Netflix, and I loved that show. Um, and every time I watch it now, you know, I still laugh and enjoy it. But I didn't know that this next um, generation, I'm finally old enough to talk about the next generation, coming up really knows about Saved by the Bell. So I was surprised to see a whole um, nail polish collection dedicated it, to it. But anyway, I want to show you. Um, there are six polishes in the collection. And the best part about these is these are 99 cents. So if you get them and hate them, you're not out a lot of money. But the first one is Pom Pom Kelly. And I guess it's pink, you know, because she's the head cheerleader or what have you. And what I like about this collection is they're all neon, so they're very like late 80s, early 90s kind of colors. They're really bright and fun, but my favorite part is that generally neons are matte or mate, however you'd like to pronounce that. And I do not like matte nail polishes. I, I like my nail polish shiny, and I feel like it lasts a lot longer when it has a sheen to it. So these are very bright. They definitely have the brightness of a neon, but they don't have that funky matte finish that I don't like. The next one is Straight A Jesse, because as you all know, Jesse was very studious um, in one of the episodes that really shouldn't be funny because it's about drug addiction, but I think everyone knows um, that part on Save by the Bell when Jesse takes the caffeine pills and becomes addicted to them, and then she's like screaming, I'm so excited, I'm so scared, like everyone knows that part, but anyway, I didn't need to act that out for you, but I totally just did. The next one is Penum Slater. What I like about this yellow is it looks a lot more green on um, film than it is in real life. And it's very hard, I find, to find a yellow that's not like, um, well, it kind of looks like a highlighter marker, I guess, but it's not as green. So that is Penum Slater because he was captain of the wrestling team. And I'm actually going to show you the uh, first three together so you can kind of, you can see that they're all bright. And in the display, um, I wish I had a picture of it, but you're not allowed to take pictures at our CVS. Um, the display has the magnifying glass that's purple, yellow, and blue. Whatever the colors are of the Saved by the Bell logo that comes on right before the theme song happens. The fourth one is Nerd Alert, Nerd Alert Screech. And so this is the only one that has like a almost metallic kind of sheen to it. I haven't tried it on, but I can tell that it's going to be, um, it's got more of a, like a very fine shimmer, kind of a yellowy gold shimmer. It's really pretty though. And if I turn it in certain light, you can kind of see the sheen, but that's Nerd Alert Screech. And that's just a fun kind of, I almost wonder if they did it to be like, um, a lizard color or chameleon, but then that makes me think of Slater because he had the chameleon that died. So obviously I'm a fan of the show because I know all these episodes. The next one is Chick Magnet Zack. And this one's showing up on camera a lot darker than it actually is. It's a bright... Oh, and I lied. This one has shimmer to it, too. Huh. What do you know? Um, this is a pretty turquoise color. It looks like... Um, I was trying to think of what it would be comparable to, but I really can't think of anything. Um, but it goes well. I'll show you, too. It goes well with this collection. It's not. It's the only one that's not technically a neon, but it's bright enough to where you could wear it with one of these colors and it would go just fine. But I'm not sure why they picked this color for Zach, I guess because teal and turquoise is a pretty hot color in the 90s, but I like it anyway. And then the last one is Fashionista Lisa, and I actually really like this one. I don't generally, uh, I, can't, I don't know why I can't talk today. I don't genuinely, that's still not right. <laughs> I don't generally, there we go. Um, like nail polishes that are purple unless they're really dark like OPI William Tell or a purple that lends itself to looking black but this one is really a pretty pretty bright neon purple and it, again these don't look as bright on camera as they do in real life and that's just a pitfall to um, recording you know on a camera but it's really really pretty it's definitely a, a pretty fuchsia purple and I love it 
And so I'll show you one more time. These are the girl polishes. Kelly, Jesse, and Lisa. And of course, the fashionista Lisa has to do Lisa. Lisa, good grief. These names are tongue twisters. Has to do with the fact that she was really into fashion and wanted to be a fashion designer. And as you know, she ends that kissed on the episode where she had her fashion show. So if you haven't seen by if you haven't seen Saved by the Bell, if you are young or just never watched it as a kid, I would recommend checking it out on YouTube or Netflix. This is a pretty, you know, it's cheesy, but it's a good show. And then here's the boy colors for Zach, Screech, and Slater. And I really, the only thing I don't like, but I don't know how they would have done it, is I really wish they had had like a Mr. Belding color. I'm glad they didn't include, um, Tori. I know this is not nice, but I never liked Tori as part of the Stay by the Bell cast when Jesse and Kelly weren't there for a while. I thought that was kind of a lame storyline. But anywho, I hope you enjoyed these. And I found these at CBS, but I'm hearing that people are also finding them at Kmart and Rite Aid. So just look for it. It's called Save by the Nail. Um, and it's a really bright neon display, so you can't miss it. But if you have any questions below or if you've seen it and enjoyed this or want to tell me what your favorite Saved by the Bell episode is, let me know in the comments below, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.